We've seen this all before in the run-up to previous global crises, notably the Asian financial crisis of the late 90s. And that's why investors are concerned. Turkey engorged itself with cheap foreign loans, many held in U.S. dollars, when interest rates were low in the U.S. and elsewhere. Foreign capital flows also poured in to take advantage of relatively higher interest rates in Turkey. A financial bubble expanded as the cash flowed in. But now global economic conditions have changed. U.S. interest rates have risen, making the U.S. an attractive investment destination. The U.S. dollar has strengthened, making it more expensive to pay back dollar-denominated loans with the Turkish lira. And amid several political tussles, Donald Trump appears determined to use the U.S.'s economic clout to stamp what he feels is Washington's supremacy over Ankara. When the markets, the global markets were flooded with cheap and free dollars, everybody got terribly excited, particularly across emerging and frontier markets. And we've seen a whiplash of a turn here. The dollar has been weaponized, whether it's deliberate or by design. President Erdogan says he will not raise interest rates to stabilize the Turkish lira. So with the lira plunging, it's unclear whether Turkey can meet its debt payments. That may potentially be disastrous for the global financial system. European banks, for example, are owed tens of billions of dollars in debt. U.S. investors have massive exposure to Turkish bonds and stocks. Some investors are making a fortune betting against Turkey. Others, however, are panicking. And that's where the global risk of contagion arises. Global emerging markets hold $2.7 trillion of U.S. dollar-denominated debt that needs to be paid off or refinanced by 2025. But they often face the same economic conditions as Turkey. Investors are already beginning to flee other emerging economies, though it isn't clear how deep the contagion will spread. Some are personalizing the prospect of widespread economic turmoil as the fault of two strongmen. However, others say this is mistaken. There are always special considerations. There are always special facts. But when you have the same pattern of capitalist crisis responded to by a set of policies that then bring the next crisis into play, you sooner or later have to wise up and realize this is a systemic problem. Yet politicians and bankers remain unwilling to address the cycle of boom and bust that characterizes global capitalism, and that arguably has helped the rise of such strongmen in the first place. Shia Britansi, Al Jazeera.